Rotary blood pumps consist of many parts. The housing, inlet and outlet, impeller, bearing system, driving magnets and so on. Building such pumps with traditional manufacturing methods is very complex, so therefore design iterations from concept to a testable prototype take up a lot of time. Furthermore, traditional manufacturing technologies severely limit the freedom for complex designs. To counteract those drawbacks, we asked ourselves, is it possible to 3D print an entire pump, including the driving and bearing magnets? I'm Kai von Petersdorf and I'm a researcher in the product development of ETH Zurich in Switzerland. Critical components of a rotary blood pump are the magnets. To print them directly into the parts while printing the pump itself, we developed a process that we call embedded magnet printing. We are printing a filament of a magnet powder polymer composite in a conventional fused deposition modeling printer and then magnetize the part in a strong magnetic field. Using this new process, we printed a pump demonstrator in one single print job. It has 10 integrated components, the housing, the impeller, four magnets for two radial magnetic bearings, and four magnets fitted into the blade shape for driving the impeller by magnetic coupling. To actuate this prototype system, we use magnetic coupling with strong permanent magnets spinning on a servo motor. This approach will be replaced in the future by stator coils attached to the bottom of the housing. This is our very first proof of concept prototype. In terms of materials, printing precision and reliability, there still is a lot of work to be done. However, I think embedded magnet printing has the potential to change the way engineers test and iterate new designs. This method allows you to develop more complex and innovative structures that would otherwise not be manufacturable and you can test and iterate those designs in a matter of hours rather than weeks. For printing magnets, we first had to develop a filament with a high loading of magnetic particles that was processable on a 3D printer. This is quite a challenge. On the one hand, you want to put as much powder in as possible to have strong magnets. On the other hand, you want to put in a decent amount of polymers to make a filament flexible enough to be spooled and stiff enough to be pushed through the printing head. We iterated with many polymers and compositions, tested for printability, mechanical and magnetic properties and started over again. Our final composition has a loading of 92 weight percent, which corresponds to a very dense packing of the magnetic spheres and the polymer in between. We read remanences of 350 milliteslas, which is well within the range of what you would get for injection molded magnets and roughly 25% of the strongest sintered neodymium iron boron magnets. The printing process is done on a conventional FDM printer with multiple extruders. We slice the model and then in each layer the printer changes the filaments to print different materials in different areas. To support overhangs or to fill gaps, we use a water-soluble material that will be removed after the print. The final step is to magnetize the part in a strong magnetic field. This is necessary because the powder that we use is isotropic, meaning that there is no overall magnetic polarization to it. Currently we can only have one polarization direction for all magnetic regions in the part. We then put our demonstrator pump to the test. At 1000 rotations per minute, we were able to generate a flow of 2.5 liters per minute. Nothing I would want to have implanted, but I'm satisfied for it being the first all components printed pump. Early testing of rotary blood pumps is only one possible field of application. As magnets are integrated in many biomedical devices, there's a big potential to transfer that knowledge to other applications. I hope this technology will help designers and engineers to go around the bottleneck of conventional manufacturing methods and generally make development processes more agile, faster and test-driven.